Dino, please stand on the block. Yes. <laughs> we, we must consider. The council must consider. Them. Yeah, we yeah. have been considering for the past few weeks. That is why you're here. <laughs> and, I feel special now. Um, I, I, I. All right, all right. I think I think it's safe to say that the council has reached a decision. Indeed. Okay. Especially because you are part of the council, anyways, Dino. <laughs> don't, don't give that away yet. Uh, okay. Okay. Good. Welcome to the Omni Slab server, Dino Cow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. was so interesting. Yeah. 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 Woo. Yeah. I love how anticlimactic yeah. it always is. All right. <laughs> oh. All right. Um, yeah. Incidentally, so, I know why the snow golem's uh, gone. This rain. Mm. This is this rain is exactly why the snow golem. I did it. Gone. Wait. Did, yeah. Does does rain kill him? Pretty sure. And, and As I did it. I did it, guys. Nice nice I did it. Oh, well, lightning! I'm scared. Now, yeah. Just, you, you just do, uh, no, I, I, I won. I won the hunger game. Yeah. Mm. Oh man, dude, 1.7 is gonna be so great. Oh, yeah. yeah. Generic greetings, fellow citizens of the internet. This is, of course, Richard, and today I bring you another episode on the Omnislabs prototype server version 0.01. Now, today I don't have much in particular scheduled for entertainment purposes or whatever, but as you could see earlier, we do have a new member officially, Dino Cow Productions. Check him out, link in the description, so forth and so on as I will probably make a habit of doing in the future. Uh, where can I go with this? Oh, that's right, that's right. I had actually totally forgotten about this. But yes, a uh, gift from Rockabilly, which I can now catch on camera. Uh, saddle and name tag is amazingly awesome. Thank you very much for that. It is very much appreciated. I will probably be doing horse sorts of things at some time in the not too distant future. Uh, what do I want to do? What am I doing? Uh, I can check out the nether. It's something I can do. Got myself a little personal carrot farm over here. Personal little, uh, nether wart farm, cocoa bean farm, little things here. I don't know how much I showed of this place, but this little treehouse thing I've got going here. I really like it. It's coming out really nice. Um, basic storage over here. That is the gas tier that was dropped by the ghast, which I point blank fireballed in the face, uh, which was quite spectacular and awesome. I will be naming it and probably never using it in any potions or anything because it is a wonderful memento. Uh, what else is there to do? Ah. Perhaps I will... I can quickly go to the nether and show what I've done there. It's not much, but it's something. Uh... this. I was just experimenting with bits and bobs and throwing it around and making it look kinda neat. Uh, I think it works reasonably well. It's not amazing, but I... To be perfectly honest, I don't have a lot invested in this server, so I'm kind of doing scaled down stuff. But, um, this does look pretty neat. I kind of like how the snow looks, and even though it was just kind of a bulk block that I could get a lot of really easily, uh, but I do think it works well in that particular circumstance. Uh, this is, of course, I don't think I've shown any of this, actually. I can show this tunnel downwards to this area down here uh, with all this noise that is <laughs> that is a failed stairway of mine which as you can see there's sort of a stairway pattern the lava flowed down and covered the entire thing uh, so that was that was fun it was great entertainment right there uh, I don't think I actually cut it on camera or anything so it's lost in the sands of time uh, then down here would be the original portal which we have since dismantled, um, or at least deactivated. Uh, this is where this was. What's in here? Is there anything? Oh, it's just another rack at this point. Whatever. Uh, so then, over in uh, 
this direction, down in this way, there is a more direct route down to the nether fortress, which is of course over there, uh, and right over there I think is where Rek and I went in. And then just beyond there actually, if you kept going, that would bring you to uh, Dino's, no, Cole's portal that way. But, um, then, incidentally, he set up very far away. Don't do that. In the future, I think we're probably going to not do that as a general rule. Uh, it is absolutely fine that he did, especially given that this is only a temporary prototype server, you know. But, you know, it's just kind of a... Now he's all the way over there. And we could get a cool nether fast track set up, set up going, but uh, it would also probably be neat to have, like, you know, a more close-knit, uh, close-building community. And I'll discuss that with him and with everybody else, and we'll get everything straightened out by the time we actually start this server up properly. And what else? This is this is what is this? This is just cave, to my knowledge. Yeah, it's just cave. All right. Actually, you know what I could do? I have an idea of something that I could do. I'll do something useful at spawn. Things useful at spawn are always nice, always appreciated, and I imagine that this would be no exception. What do we have for resources available? We do have some of this. Not a lot. Hmm. You know what? I will just go ahead and improvise. I will steal all of the redstone. Uh, at some point I will go mining to help replenish and be productive that way. I will also be stealing some of this iron because it is there. Do I have? I need more cobblestone actually. Probably. This is sort of what I've been using for a cobblestone mine. Hopefully it isn't somebody's ongoing project that I am thoroughly messing up. Uh, also it is getting increasingly dark. This is not totally my doing, but the further I go, the more dark it gets. So I will be restricting my endeavors to some degree just to curb that as much as possible. I imagine. But then... Yes, I think... Where can I do this? Where can I do this? Uh, not sure where I'm going to do it. Maybe I'll just sort of put it... I think I'll put it right here. That's what I'll do. That's where I'll put it. You will see what I am planning on building in just two moments. Uh, when I have this up and running. So, I am going to need two pistons, at least to start off with. That is what I will make. And then I will go from there. Oh, I do need wood. This is a planks. That uh, should be sufficient. Do... Uh, no, 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 no. That is not what I... Why do you do these things? Inventory. Inventory likes to mess with me. I don't like my inventory sometimes. Alright, so there are two pistons. Grab this stuff back. Actually, that's five pistons. That is more pistons than I wanted. Are there slime balls kicking around someplace? Yes, there are! Score! Go ahead and make two sticky pistons. Pistons. There we go. The biggest problem is that I probably just used up more redstone than I meant to. But, if I have to, I'll go and mine some, can I? Yeah, I've got iron kicking around that I can do that. Alright, so two sticky pistons. Uh, then I am going to need to make a hopper. Do not know why I'm speaking that way. I do actually have a chest in my inventory. How random and convenient. No. No, thank you. Okay, good. Uh, so like that. Ah, uh, then let's see. What else? I need... Is there... Ah, there is. How convenient is that as well? And a water bucket. Oh, it's like someone was planning to help me out here. Or just providing basic water resources. Alright, so let's see. Perhaps I should use... Another brick will be fine. 
Sure, why not? And do I have dirt? Dirt will be good for basic foundation. How big is this going to be? I'm not sure how big the footprint of this thing is going to be. I'll just sort of build this around like that. So I'll do a Len. <laughs> There's a horse in the wheat. I believe that is Rekka's doing. He wants people to refer to him as Rek. I believe. I keep messing up. Apologize for that. So then this probably will be around something like that. I'm gonna have to mess with the design somewhat. Then that and that. Then that and oh, need one more. Give me just one more. One more is right there. Very good. Very excellent. Marvelous. Wonderful. Delightful. Those sorts of things. Um, I'll probably get creative with this. So let's see. How am I going to do this? Uh, actually, I can go over here, make myself a chest. There is no reason to be doing this on camera. I realize this. I'm taking up a lot of time looking very silly and inexperienced and so forth and so on. Whatever. Let me just go ahead and plop that down. Drop this here. Drop that there. Then my sticky pistols need to go here and there. I am almost certainly not going to have enough nether brick for this. I might need to trade over materials part way through or something like that. That is okay. Those chickens are definitely going to get annoying. We've got a giant we a giant crowd of chickens in a hole here. They are producing large numbers of eggs for us. To the point that they're probably despawning at this point. Which is depressing. And we really don't need that many chickens in the hole. But, you know, whatever. Ah, uh, not my doing. So, I do actually think that I will, just in case that is annoying. I'll probably turn the sound down just a bit. Let's see. I don't think that actually really did much. So how is this... Oh, I do need two more pistons yet. Two more sticky pistons. I have no intention of actually starting to say pistons. If I do, slap me in the comments. Because it sounds ridiculous. Alright. And so... One, two... Uh, three, four. Can I have a little more than five, six, um, seven, eight? Nine, ten, I love you! Do 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 do. And then a bit like that. Actually, I think I'm gonna come around using basic slabs. So I'll go ahead and make some slabs with the smooth stone I have. Should be more than sufficient for this rudimentary design. Round bit like this, bit like this, bit like this. Goodbye, tree. You are in the way. I'm definitely gonna have to do some more redstone mining because I sure as heck do not have enough. Boo do boo boo do boo boo do boo do 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 I am being completely ambiguous and unhelpful to anyone trying to identify what it is that I'm doing, and I recognize that, and I apologize because I am just simply a ding-dong that way at this moment. There's no reason- actually, you know what? I have no reason for concealing my intentions. 
Basically what I'm doing here is I'm attempting to create some form of fully automatic pumpkin and melon farm so that we will constantly have a source of melons and pumpkins that is being constantly harvested and so forth like that. It will all become apparent why I am doing it the way that I am doing it and so forth relatively shortly. Alright, that can come like that. And these can come around like this. And like that. Then mayhaps. Yeah, I guess block here. Uh, it should actually, like eventually maybe I'll change that up with glass or something for, you know, viewing purposes, but for now it's fine. Uh, so then here I will want, you know, actually, how, how do I want to do this? Um, maybe I can just... Is there a good way of doing this? I don't think there's a good way of doing it. You know, I'll just do that. Yeah, no, 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 not what I meant. Not, not, not what I meant. I'm sorry. Okay, that'll be good for temporary. So the chest will be there, and ah, another brick in there. Okay, how nice is that? And this does not need to be here, and this does not need to be here. This is a very redstone inefficient design, which makes me feel very silly. Ooh, that something is wrong. That implies that something. Oh, 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 oh. I am being very silly. Hang on. Ooh, no, I can't do that. That's gonna. Oh well, you know what? It's it's fine. Be in here. Yes. There we go. All right, so. I need to... Basically what was happening there was the redstone was pointing directly into this block, powering it, and that was powering the piston, so it was making a very short and very useless clock, which is what I do not want. This is rather uh, powered by bud switches, which are B-U-D switches. Uh, they are... Um, they basically toggle or at least trigger when a block update happens. BUD block update detector. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, what am I doing? I need these will work. Give me one more. A bit like that, and do that. Couple of these should do the trick. Basically, what I need is a non-solid block right there that will block the items when they are created and pushed down in here so that they don't end up lodging themselves back there uselessly despawning off of the hopper but will also be a non-solid block so that these pistons don't get powered when they shouldn't be then let's see two three four five six do to do and that is where it runs out so I guess I will go ahead smelt no I don't need to smelt anything I can actually make a pickaxe right now and head down into the mines depths of wreckabilly's silliness over here I thought there was redstone over here that he had not mined. Somewhere maybe down here? Oh, you know, I think that was it. I think he got it. Drat. He's probably combed these pretty carefully, actually, so I am probably not going to have any kind of luck. Rather, I am simply going to get myself thoroughly lost if I'm not careful. So, let's see. This all looks like it's been picked pretty clean. 
At least it's all lit up so it's not quite as dangerous. That's always nice. I think this is actually... That. Damn it. Rat. Bother. Eat my stuff some carrots. Yeah, okay, this is where he's actually set up shop. Uh, hmm. Maybe I'll steal some of his? I don't know, does he have bunches to spare? There was a tree farm here. Guess he took it down. I might be spoiling this video. If I am, I apologize. Well, he doesn't have any in there. And none in there. What's this? Oh, he's got some. I'm going to be a good guy, though, and not steal it. Ooh, look at this! Look at him! Look what he's doing! How cool is this? Huh! I am guessing that that will be a storage room. Had a wild guess. Ah, okay, cool. Um, so let's see, what am I gonna do? That does not help my redstone situation. I do need more. So, I guess I will be back with you when I have found some redstone. Ah, yes, that is what I am looking for. Very good, give me a lot, give me a lot. Give me plenty of redstone to work with. Give me more than that. That might be enough, but I doubt it. Don't imagine that it will. I will dig this iron up. I will poke around, place a torch so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. That's gravel. <laughs> uh, laggy gravel. Good times. Uh, and that's a bunch more all around. Doubtful that there will be any up that way. Okay. Is my inventory full or am I just lagging really hard? I might be lagging, I might be full. Oh, I'm full, okay. Well, let's see, is there anything of note? Sigh, sigh, okay. Well, in that case, nothing to be done, but venture onwards, as I'm gonna bet that that's, well, let's see, three, four, five, six, Six plus... Actually, you know what? I bet that will be enough. I'm gonna go ahead and just... I just started my own little miniature branch mine there. Is there still a chest somewhere around here that I can drop things off in? Nope. Okay, I will drop it off in the skeleton spawner chest. You are welcome, people. Whoever sees any of this. Why do I have a sign? That is utterly random, and that wooden pressure plate is even more random. Honestly don't know why I would have that. Boop. And because I have to, my mind will not let me get away with it if I do not, I will go ahead, grab all of these items. Oh, gravel. Oh. Is there anything... You know what? I don't care. It's gravel. Items are despawning. This is this is a bad feeling. I don't like it. I get it whenever items are despawning. And it, it, mm, even gravel, even gravel, gravel shouldn't have to despawn. But I will stay. I will stay strong. And for the sake of recording and expedience and so forth, I will curb my insatiable desire to collect every block and make sure it doesn't expire. Alright, so where was I? I don't know why I thought that we did, but I guess we definitely most certainly do not have uh, melon seeds yet. I just did, didn't I? Yep, I did. Uh, so, oh, I need to make repeaters first. Repeaters, come this way. Ah. Oh, Okay. <sighs> Alright, so... Do I have sticks? I do not have sticks. Of course I do not have sticks. Do-do-do. Actually, I'm going to need four torches. 
So bit like that, then bit like that, then bit like that, then bit like that. Very good, very nice, absolutely brilliant. That like that, this like this, hooray. Managing inventory space. And then redstone dust and redstone repeaters. One there, one there, both of them on two ticks delay, if I remember correctly. That, I don't know why that did what it did. That's interesting. Hmm, okay. Let me go ahead and... Hmm. Okay. This should still be functional. Let me go ahead and... Okay, that looks promising. Did it... Wait, where'd the redstone go? Where'd the redstone go? Did I... Did I pick it up again? How many did I have? Oh, it's sitting... Oh, that's bad. Did they toggle... Did both things trigger at the same time? I didn't actually see. If both pistons did not fire simultaneously, then that is a problem. Dupe. Dupe. That looked simultaneous to me. It is not... There's nothing trapped anywhere. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. Very good, very good. Now we're all set, now we're in business. Dupe. Unintentional. Okay. I'm actually going to reclaim some of this unnecessarily wasted uh, nether stuff because it is of some value. Yeah, I can do that. Then I can snag this stuff. There, 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 there. And then this stuff at the center. Do do do. Do 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 do. And I believe the rest is necessary. I like stripping my structures down to the bare bones minimum that they need to be, so that they look a little more streamlined or whatever. Now the next and possibly final step: placing the pumpkin seeds. And now it should be fully functional, because whenever a pumpkin grows, let me actually drop some stuff off and grab some more pumpkins that are ready to harvest over there. Pumpkin seeds off, all these saplings that I do not need to be carrying around, I've just been filling up my inventory. Grab a second pumpkin for testing purposes, and if I now go over here and put a pumpkin here as though it had just grown, boop -a doop See that? What that does is it activates this bud switch. Now, <laughs> basically what's happening here? This piston is getting powered diagonally. It's not actually getting powered, but the game sort of kind of thinks that it is. And all that, that means is if anything happens to make that piston realize that it's getting diagonal power, so say like a pumpkin growing that makes it look at the piston and say oh gosh this is getting powered now and so the piston goes yeah I'll go ahead and extend and now if they you know just as a hypothetical if something did happen to trigger another block update uh, whatever that would be uh, anywhere around the piston it doesn't have to be that posi particular position but Theoretically, if that if it did get updated again for whatever reason, nothing would happen because it is still getting powered, and you know this diagonal block is still charged, and so the piston is getting diagonally powered. And that's interesting. I just realized I'm shifting, but I can slide off the block because there's a repeater there. Huh? I did not realize that. Uh, anyway, it's still getting diagonally powered, so it will still, you know, there's it wouldn't be changing states. There's nothing that it needs to do. However, when the same thing happens for this one over here, when a pumpkin grows right there adjacent to this piston, it is also diagonally powered, and what will happen 
is when it pushes out, uh, when the piston extends because it's getting, ch when it realizes that it's being powered, it will cut off the power to this. This line here, the only reason it's getting powered is from the torches underneath these blocks. So when either of these blocks are in this position, like this one currently, and if this one was in the other position, then it would be doing it as well. Um, it, that powers this line here. However, when they are extended, this will not be getting powered, and thus, this um, these two blocks will no longer be powered, and these pistons will retract on the next bud update. Uh, block, yeah, block update adjacent. Um, which will happen when these torches turn on and fire these pistons. Basically, when this goes off, the torches will go on, fire these pistons, which will simultaneously replace that, it'll break the pumpkins and push out a block, and that all basically happens at the same time, so it counts as one block update, uh, at least in this case, and will reset the system. The delay will ensure that it doesn't just become a clock, and, you know, the second update will trigger, you know, everything to reset again, and it'll just keep going, going again, powered by its own, you know, resetting, so... If the timing is wrong, then you can end up with that kind of thing going on, but this, as it is, should be fine. So let's give it a quick test. We've got that pumpkin there, ready and triggered. Put that one there, and ba-doop ba -doop. And that's bad. That is wrong. Don't know why... I don't know if that's lag, or if that's what it is. But, let me grab that and try this again because that is not what is supposed to happen. I might need to revise this design for multiplayer now that I think about it. We'll see. Well, that worked that time, so that's good. And, of course, the pumpkins, once they are pushed out, are then in this one little area. There is nowhere for them to go, theoretically, unless lag happens or something, and they manage to glitch their way back onto these blocks once these pistons have retracted, which theoretically should be well-nigh on impossible. But as we just saw, I guess it is actually a possibility. But supposedly they should always end up in the hopper, and therefore in this chest, ready to be collected at a later date. That is the theory anyway, and hopefully this will be relatively useful to people, and we will have a, you know, semi-steady stream of pumpkins to do pumpkin things with. So I'm going to go ahead and grow these, and of course the only place that these things can grow is right there and there, so we will never get pumpkins elsewhere messing up the system. And these blocks are irrigated by the water flowing down the center. That is the only reason this water is here. It's... it doesn't... I don't think water really affects the way items move much in this, like, this kind of scenario, I don't think that it would really affect, you know, it bumping back or bumping across or whatever, so I, I don't think there's any reason that that would be better or worse. It's just there to irrigate the blocks. If I was doing something, like, more impressive here, like, say, taking this design, which is tileable, incidentally, uh, if you make that block under this bit of redstone a uh, um, slab uh, or non-solid block and then replace these blocks and um, torches with redstone blocks, which I did not have the redstone to make this time around, you can actually tile this vertically. Uh, up as high as you want, and in that case, the very most practical way of irrigating these things is a water stream down the middle. Again, because uh, it doesn't make any significant differences with um, the way items interact and so forth, it still works just fine. So I have no idea how long I've been recording for, or so on, how long this would be. So I'll go ahead and check on that, and perhaps, if this is sufficient, I didn't adjust, did I? Okay, we're fine. I think we're fine. I'm jumping all over things and forgetting that some things shouldn't be jumped on. Uh, 
I imagine that this will have been a sufficiently long episode, and in that case, I will bid you farewell for now.